I just want you all to see we don't play around in here. We're working. We're working. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience. Uh, what's going to happen now, uh, Robert Goebel is our bench clerk, and he is going to be calling out the uh, jurors who will um, comprise the uh, actual jury in this case. When your number's called, please know your number. Come forward, and uh, Otis Embry, our deputy in this courtroom, will seat you, and that will be the chair you will stay in during the trial. All right. Following persons then will comprise the jury. 2008318. 8318. Thank you. sit there and I'm waiting for the next number. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you not selected, don't smile. There's probably, I'm sure, something else waiting for you, but not tonight. Have a safe trip home. Uh, call in uh, on the number that you learned to call in on. And uh, again, thank you for your service. Be safe going home. Thanks. While they're exiting, you're not far behind them. Just want to give you a little bit of information. Um, thank you. You're the jury in this case. Uh, you have, uh, did he give you your notepads? Yes. No, i got to wait till they get out of here. See, they're all giddy. <laughs> Just wait till tomorrow. Those notepads have a number on the back. That's the seat you're in. And that, the reason for that is they're taken up at night and no one reads them. The sheriff protects them. Uh, you are not required to take notes. You're encouraged to do it. They're your notes. You can use them when you go back to deliberate at the very end of the case. And I'll give you more information in the morning. Generally, I start because I have other cases around either 9 or 9.30. Tomorrow I need to start at 9.30. So that will give you better travel in town, but worse parking. So it's a, it's a trade-off. But if you could be here out front at 9.20, uh, that way uh, Sheriff can gather you up and let me know you're ready. When you're ready, I'm hoping to be ready. Um, uh, you can't discuss this case with anyone or each other. 
you can't do independent investigation, research through any means. I haven't seen TV cameras wanting to come in. If they do, uh, it may, you know, I don't know. Uh, if you hear something on the radio, TV, or starting to read something that looks familiar, turn it off, walk away, put it down. Because you're not, you know, we don't want you to have any of that external influence. The only thing that counts is what happens in this courtroom during this trial. Do you all have any questions on what to expect um, procedurally? All right, you're not going back to jury pool in the morning. You're, by, you're up here at 8.04 every day. Well, not every day, but almost every day. And please mark your calendars. Monday and Tuesday, you're not coming in at all, okay? So, um, I do want to place you under oath so that you are secured as my jury, okay? Uh, so this is the jury oath, if you raise your right hands. Do you swear or affirm uh, that you will try the case between these parties uh, according to the evidence and the law unless sooner dismissed by the court? Yes. Okay. And tomorrow, again, tomorrow I think it's easier for you if I give you background information and what your jobs are in the morning. So any questions before we leave? I try to break later for lunch, so you might want to bring a snack. Uh, feel free to bring coffee, water, soda with you. You can sip on that during uh, the trial. If you need to break at any point and you think, my God, is she ever going to break? Raise your hand. I'm, I can do that. But uh, I try to take one small break in the morning, uh, a later lunch, and one small break, and that way we can get through it. All right? Have a great evening. Be safe going home. What? Oh. Leave the notepads and pens in your seats. Take the business cards with you, but leave the notepads. Yeah, he is not letting you walk out with those notepads. <laughs> uh, the business card is in the event you get behind a wreck or something happens, you can call in so that I don't send the posse out to get you. Um, but be, be safe. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. And feel free to leave us some your stuff here. Um, Otis will tell you where you can leave it. Um, I won't have any testimony in the morning. You all can leave some stuff up there. But he'll tell you probably in the conference room, and he'll lock those. Anything before we go off the record? Nothing. The Commonwealth. Ms. Erskine? Uh, no, Judge. Mr. McLeod. See you all in the morning. Thank you, Judge. You all be here at 915 just so I can eyeball you. Okay? Thanks, Your Honor.